Hi, this is Laura with another unboxing from Mrs. Brimble's shop. Um, I just covered up my address here with washi tape and I cut it open. Otherwise, I haven't looked inside. So I'm just going to open it here and see what we have going on. So I got another one of these little troll erasers, which will not be used as an eraser. Just because I wanted to give one away to a friend, so then I wanted to get a second extra one. So there's that. And then everything's so beautifully wrapped, nice flower, um, gorgeous. I'm just going to try and open it carefully so I can reuse it. Let's see what's in here. Oops, and then I tear the... Oh, there's an, a little note. So I'm going... Oh, I'm just going to hold that off to the side. So um, I'll just read that and look at that later um, when I'm done filming. And then I got another one of these Thinking of You stationery sets. Um, it comes with envelopes and little cards. I, I love these so much. I love note cards. I love writing to people. And then in here... Um, I'm super excited to uh, get one of these to try. This is a water brush. I think this is, yep, this is the fine tipped one. And you use these with the paints. These are the paints I got from her store. So if I'm understanding correctly how to use it, which I haven't run the, the instructions yet, I'm just going based on how I think it's supposed to be used. So if I'm saying it wrong, Sorry about that, but this is filled with water, so then when you um, touch the paints, then you can just go ahead and paint, and you don't have to always be dipping your brush in water. So, um, yeah, needless to say, I'm excited about that. I'm waiting for her to get a couple more in stock so my mom and I don't have to share the same pen. We can each have our own, so excited about that. And then um, these are paint pens. I think one's black and one's white, so I'm excited to use those. Um, you can use them for journaling, writing, doodling, um, and much more. It has a fine tip, and it tells you how to use it. Um, and then I really like these little ice cream stickers here. And as usual, I got two, one for myself and one for my mom. And then I thought these stickers were really pretty. I was thinking more of my mom when I got these. So these are for her. And then uh, these perfume ones. I was thinking of her when I got these too. And um, some rollerblade stickers. And then um, two of the same, but more ice cream stickers. Her box this month is ice cream themed, so these will go great with that. I haven't done an unboxing of that yet. I'm sort of waiting for my mom to get home from California. And then um, just some lined paper to put, I think this is A5. I'm still learning, yep, an A, oh, sorry, in. Oh, trying to get that to, an A5 tablet. Um, so if we want to write other little notes in the A5 planner, we can. It's just blank. It's I got two of them. It's just lined paper. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I'm very, very excited about this. So I usually always get the same planner from Barnes & Noble. But um, now that we're working on the adoption of Baby M, um, I need to keep track of a few more things than what my previous planner had allowed. So I saw this on Anna Brim's um, a Mrs. Brimble shop. It's a Kate Spade planner. And it looked really amazing. And it looks, it's a little bigger than or thicker, I should say, than um, the journal I currently use, but I thought it would be sufficient for 
what I needed it for. So this is my first time like ooh, really looking at it and I'm super, super excited excited so I think that's just a cardboard piece of paper and so it's got a little pocket on each side and then um, it has 2000 oh sorry 2017 2018 just the layout of the months and then celebrations that you can put the different birthdays or celebrations per month and then um, notes so I always like having a little note section in my journals just because if you get a random phone call out and about or something and you got to take a really quick note and you have no paper but you usually have your planner then you can just quickly jot it down in there so pretty good number of sheets and I like how it starts in August so I cannot wait for August to come so I can start using um, using it and so um, this is what it looks like it looks pretty much very similar to how my other journal is set up um, where it has starts with Monday and it goes through Sunday and then it has the different um, areas where you can write things but I just feel like there's bigger areas or there's more areas that you can write in And then there's notes at the end of each month, too. So, and then we have September. And then at the beginning of the month um, is just a layout of the whole month, which is nice. You can just sort of see what's going on real briefly. But then, again, you can go, oops go day by day and fill it in and so um, that's basically how it goes and it goes to November of 2017 actually it goes to sorry December of uh, December of 2017 that was just another cardboard piece at the end so this is my first time ever stepping out and getting a different type of planner that I use for my everyday planner in um, probably I don't know four or five years so we'll have to see how I like it and um, I'll have to do a video to compare the two side by side but um, that's all for this video and I hope you enjoyed it thanks